Remember to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from First Cry Parenting. Hello ladies, welcome to First Cry Fitness. My name is Kadambri and I've had the chance to train over hundreds of moms to be on this amazing journey. While you're expecting, you know how important fitness is to reduce the discomforts in your continuously changing body and to physically and mentally prepare for what's coming without fear, with some excitement and with staying fit. Movement is essential. So in this exercise routine, we're going to work on all trimesters and we'll just build from there, taking it easy, being kind to your body, there's a lot going on. So let's begin with some warm-up and posture exercises that are appropriate for all trimesters. Chin down to the chest and we circle clockwise. Inhale. As you go back, exhale. As you circle forward. You can do about five of these clockwise. And the same number, anti-clockwise. Now let's roll the shoulders back, up toward the ears, and away and down. Let's go in the opposite direction. And take your time, enjoy, smile. And take the arm out to the side and really stretch from the shoulder to the tips of the fingers. Both sides. Interlock your fingers behind your hips and drop your head back. And then curl your spine, hands on the knees, chin relaxed, drop your shoulders, completely let go. Exhale fully. Inhale, lean forward, roll the shoulders back, look up. So on each inhale, try to really guide the breath in through the nostrils, down to baby's home, to your chest. Fill your lungs up as much as you can and don't be worried if your breath is shallow. Draw the soles of your feet together. Comfortable distance between the feet and groin. Lift your spine. Inhale, lean forward, lift your chest, exhale, drop your chin, curl your spine, lean back. Nice. Inhale, lift, bring your hands to your feet. And exhale, let's come back to neutral position. From here, we're going to go from side to side. So bring your right hand down onto the mat. Raise your left arm up, stretch and open from the chest up to the ceiling. So your ribcage is nice and wide, your sternum is lifted. And then inhale, lengthen from the tips to the other side. Again, try to be mindful that you're not curled at your upper back, but that you're nice and lifted. Inhale, lift from the tips. Exhale, come back to center, curl your spine. So if we have a cushion, that's great for our posture and warm-up exercises. Let's place it under the sit bones. So you're sitting on the edge of the cushion, keeping your feet wide. So this gives you length in your posture, gives you strength in your muscles. And then you can have your hands relaxed on the knees, tip of the thumb with the index finger, shoulders out wide, chest lifted, eyes closed. On your next inhale, roll the shoulders back, lean forward, lift your chest, drop your head back. Exhale, curl your spine, drop your chin, fall back completely, 
Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift, lean. Breathe in. Exhale. Curls. Drop. Put your hands onto the mat, on all fours. Knees exactly under the sit bones, under the hips. Hands exactly under the shoulders. And now we'll do a nice calf stretch. Stretch your right leg back. You can move your hands forward. Just try to be open around your chest and stretch around your shoulders. Press the heel onto the floor. Release. Change. Press your toes, stay long in your spine, keep bringing the heel toward the floor. Release. Adjust the distance between your feet so you're nice and balanced. Knees relaxed. Inhale, we're going to do cat and cow stretch. Roll the shoulders back, lift your chest, lift your hips. Exhale, curl your spine. You can breathe out through the mouth or nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl. Rest that right forearm onto the right thigh. Lift your left arm up. Exhale to the other side. Exhale down. And then slowly come up to standing pose. Keep your arms relaxed. Swing from side to side. Knees soft, enjoy this movement. All right, from your inhale, lift your arms up. Straighten your legs. Join your palms. For the first trimester, we'll skip squats. The second and third trimester, please go wide with your knees. Your feet about 45 degree angle and bend your knees so they're exactly over the ankles. Let's try to keep the spine straight rather than leaning forward. So tailbone tucked under and stay as low as you can comfortably for about 5 to 10 counts. Those are the first trimester. Let's have the knees cupped with the palms, feet at a comfortable distance and just circle your knees clockwise and anti-clockwise. Let's bend the knees and rotate the hips clockwise. Nice. For those in the first trimester, neck rotations. Let's move anti-clockwise now. Take your time. Enjoy the movement with your baby. First trimester, let's take it easy. You can move from side to side in this movement, but those in the second and third, I want you to really lift your knee up and lift your foot up off the mat from one to the other side. And for the first trimester, just sway your hips from side to side and lift the feet off just gently. Those in the second and third, let's make this movement a little bit more dynamic, like a cardio workout. So go for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds to two minutes, depending on your capacity going. Feel your heart rate coming up. Keep breathing and slowly relax. When you're ready, close your eyes. So just taking a few moments to relax the body from all the activities we've just performed. Just big deep breaths into the abdomen, into the chest, saying hello to baby again. Bring one hand to your baby, the other to your chest. Big deep breath in. Exhale. And chant 
Om as we exhale, pay attention to the sound vibrations within your body and outside your body. Inhale. Thank you for joining me and my mom friends for this fitness session and thank yourselves for spending this time in quality with your body, with your baby and yourself.